This is Music Television USA. This is the very best of MT USA. Three discs, including two CDs of some of the greatest 80s hits. And one DVD of the most memorable videos. Featuring Pat Benatar, Journey, AHA and many more. The very best of MT USA. Music never looked better. America's hits on Music Television USA, Christine McVie at 17, The Police at 8, Thomas Dolby at 85, and the number one on America's Hot 100 this week, Van Halen and Jump. And how would you like to jump into this? I think it's one of the nicest cars on display here today. It's another Chevrolet. It's called the Eurosport. And believe it or not, you can get this for under $8,000. It gives you 21 miles to the gallon. And coming up next on MTUSA, here's a double from The Doors, and first up, Pat Benatar. A double from The Doors on Music Television USA, Gloria and Love Me Two Times. And ahead of that, Pat Benatar and Love is a Battlefield, and that won a Grammy Award for her on Tuesday night. And there's lots more to come. We'll be right back. Welcome back to New York, and this is a very famous American car, an Oldsmobile, although these days much smaller than they used to be. You could have lived in one of the earlier ones. You can pick this up for about $9,000, and it'll give you 27 miles to the gallon. And up next on Music Television USA, watch out for Sade, Annabelle Lamb, Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder. Tracy Ullman, Paul McCartney with Stevie Wonder, Annabelle Lamb and Sade on Music Television USA. Well, I hope you enjoyed our look at some of the cars on the American market. I certainly did. It made me real jealous. And when we come back, because it hasn't started to snow yet, we'll take a walk in Central Park. Welcome back, and welcome to just a tiny corner of Central Park. The entire park is over two and a half miles long and a half a mile wide, covering 850 acres. And sometimes when visitors see Central Park for the first time, they're quite shocked because it's not like the Phoenix Park in Dublin or perhaps Hyde Park in London. Central Park is not cared for in the same way. It's much more wild and natural, and it works. I'm not saying it isn't looked after. It is. Uh, for instance, the children's zoo just down there is closed at the moment. The Modesta Fountain is closed, and the carousel is closed, all for repair. But there are a couple of other things to see, and they're coming up soon. And coming up now, a double from the 38 specials, and first, here's Peter Schilling with Major Tom. The 38 Specials and Peter Schilling. Do you recognize this bridge? No? Well, have a think about it, and I'll tell you soon where you might have seen it before. First, here's Ferdinand McCona in Dublin with some Irish music news. Thank you, Vincent. And how are you? Well, the biggest thing happening here shortly is the farewell tour by Status Quo, those purveyors of no-nonsense, mindless boogie and dandruff rock. They kick off their short farewell Irish tour with concerts uh, on the, uh, the RDS on April 11th and 12th. Also due in are gigs from the Thompson Twins, Dion Warwick and the very wonderful Mr. Joe Jackson, who also plays the RDS this time on April 4th. Charlie Pride and Richard Claydeman are also due in, but I'm trying not to think about that too much. After all, anyone who'd pay good money to go and see them obviously hates music so much they couldn't possibly be watching this show. On the local frontier at home, there's a new single out from Dublin R&B Supremo's The Business. It's called Let Me In. There it is there. And it's a rip-roaring slice of raw R&B nonsense, I suppose you could call it. And it's the loudest record ever made in this country, guaranteed to wake the entire neighbourhood. Check it out. Also, Philip Chevron, who used to be the singer in The Radiators from Space, do you remember him? Well, he's got a new single out called The Captains and the Kings, featuring a string section and an orchestra. And this song was previously a hit for Brendan Behan. Now, on the local front, and you can't get more local than Dublin, I suppose, this band, Those Handsome Devils, they're called, they're Dublin's first ever, or Ireland's first ever, bona fide rockabilly band. They have a new single called Hep Bop out very soon on the Souterrain label, and it's produced by PJ Curtis. Local heroes uh, in Tuanua, there's the singer Leslie Dowd all there, who caused a sensation by drawing 750 people to their first ever gig at the TV club, are going on the road very shortly, countrywide. And they also have a new single out shortly, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Now, the Radio 2 charts, the top five, reads as follows. Number five is Howard Jones. Number four, Billy Joel, Innocent Man. Number three, Cindy Lauper and Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Number two is Nick Kershaw. And number one, Nana and 99 Red Balloons. Coming up now on MT USA is videos from the fiction factory Ghost of Love, China Crisis, Hannah Hannah, and a little-known recluse called John Lennon, Nobody Told Me. 
If you said this was the bridge featured regularly in episodes of Kojak, well, take a bow. Many times, old lollipop face stood there and got the low down on some uptown villains. Except that the bridge he stood on was in California. They built it specially to make it look just like Central Park, New York. Okay, okay, another illusion bites the dust. I'm sorry. Music Television USA will continue in a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to New York. New Yorkers don't come to Central Park to get away from it all. It's not a place to escape to. People come here to be right smack in the middle of everything. Things like concerts, barbecues, soccer, marathons, mini marathons. You name it and it happens here. Mind you, it's a little cold for any of those today. But the music's real hot on Music Television USA. And here's a double from Rod Stewart and ahead of that, the alarm. That's a double from Rod Stewart and before that, the alarm. Coming up, Cindy Lauper, Nick Kershaw, and Huey Lewis, and the news. I mentioned them earlier today. It's a big week for them, notching up their first top ten album, as well as their third top ten single. In and this is Music Television USA. Wake me up. This is the very best of MTUSA Volume 2. Three discs, including two CDs of some of the greatest 80s hits. And one DVD of the most memorable videos. Featuring Wham, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, and many more. The very best of MTUSA Volume 2. Music never looked better.